back to IGN Live here at Gamescom 2018. We are talking about a game that's looking to change the way that we experience shared universe called Dual Universe. What's up? What is Dual Universe? Dual Universe is a MMORPG in a sci-fi setting, uh, but what really defines it and makes it, I think, quite different from anything else you've played uh, are basically two things. The first is that uh, this is taking place in what we call a single shard universe. There's mm -hmm. one giant server for everybody to go on it. I mean, potentially millions of people sharing the same game world that never stops and is persistent. So it's you know the idea of the virtual world as we expect it in sci-fi mm -hmm. uh, that we actually have made through uh, a new technology that we've developed. The, the second thing about the game is that in Dual Universe, everything is entirely editable. So you can mm -hmm. modify, as you can see now, uh, we are digging holes in the ground. We can just modify the environment. We can build anything we want. So we mm -hmm. can build cities. We're going to see the city over there later. Uh, we're gonna, we can build cities, spaceships, orbital stations. So it's up to you to build your world around you. And uh, so this is taking place in a giant world. Uh, we're going to go in God mode just now okay. to see you know, the what size mode of is the this things. We that we're in right now. So right now you are in Alioth, the, the first planet where you start. There are many mm -hmm other planets and that gives you an idea of the scale of things all this is real time with potentially millions of people on these planets all mm -hmm. interacting with everybody so that's very ambitious yeah that's you know as i said based on the new tech that allows mm -hmm. this to happen and keep and in mind everything is editable you could you know basically take a part of this planet <laughs> out it would take ages to do that mm -hmm. probably not feasible in practice but everything is really editable those moons you see over there they are real i mean can you could land on them if you want mm -hmm. you can uh, so you can land anywhere you want you anywhere. see a planet everything and is you real. just want to go basically it's a simple thing i mean mm -hmm. everything you expect is is as it should be uh the physics is real also when you build the ship you have you know real forces yeah f there's a bit of maybe a sort of Kerbal Space Program mm -hmm. meets EVE Online meets Minecraft sort of you yeah. know that's the you know the inspirations and you know the the the, the, the thing the games we liked actually mm -hmm. and that we sort of combine into uh, a, a new concept that allows uh, basically it's all about emergent gameplay people mm -hmm. building their civilization building their economy uh, building their uh, the warfare uh, mm -hmm. There's actually uh, a whole, you know, territory management management part to the game. Uh, so you can see, uh, for example, here we can we can show the the map of this planet. Mm -hmm. uh, you will see that it's divided into uh, several tiles that you can claim. So when you claim a tile, you can actually control the territory. So you can build. Got sort it. Of Is it yours nation. forever? Because if this is shared, that means anyone could theoretically come and. Of course, reclaim it, of I course guess. not. So <laughs> there's, there's, that's the point of having wars and, and mm -hmm. you know all sorts of uh, geopolitical uh, uh, implications with that because with the different territories you have potentially different resources on the ground. Mm -hmm. So it might might make sense to secure them. Uh, that being said, it's no, uh, not all about PvP. Uh, we will also have some uh, non-PvP, non what we call uh, sanctuary moons, that mm -hmm. are areas where people can just claim territories and be quiet. So they can actually build stuff for builders in particular and do anything they want. So building is done like that. Mm -hmm. You deploy uh, what we call a core unit that creates a Got sort it. of a box uh, in, inside which you will be able to uh, build. So that means uh -huh. basically two things. Uh, you can deploy materials that you possibly have gathered through mining. Or so you do have to gather materials yes. that doesn't or just you could, come or out or of Or you the could air. buy them on the in-game market. Okay. So there's a whole economy uh, side to this. And so once you have those materials, uh, as you can see, you can deploy them to constru construct the shape, so the, mm -hmm. the, the shape of things. So it's not like... Minecraft, like as you can see, you can also do some uh, spheres or any shape you Got want, it, actually. That's super cool. uh -huh. uh, you can also dig these things and, and you know, change the, the, the... It's about sculpting, actually, right? Mm -hmm. You can really make the, the shape you like. Materials matter. What you choose as a material may impact the weight of what you're building and so on. And once you're happy with the shape, then you're going to be able to deploy what we call elements. And these are sort of functional units that do something, you know, that will give some function to your construction. Got it. So like this, these yeah, lights that we're seeing. This is a light or you could add a, a seat or mm -hmm. you could add an engine so if you want to make a spaceship so that's for example an engine oh so you could literally build your own ship absolutely that's that's wow. that's the idea or mm -hmm. you could add a door uh, so that's like a sort of an interactive element uh, you could put a button here and you can connect the button to the door so then when you press the button the door opens wow. uh -huh. so you could actually build all sorts of contraptions they also you know laser range uh, detector mm -hmm. uh, so there's uh, a lot of plates. freedom here in the building absolutely. it's really cool 
I mean, it's it's for people who like to build stuff, mm -hmm. and that's what we have right now in the game, yeah. in the pre-alpha stage. Uh, it's really nice. And look at the things that people have done behind. I mean, we're gonna go there and and, and have a look. It's amazing. This has been done by players. So okay, this so this is all community based. Yes, yes. We have something like uh, more than three thousand players actually now mm -hmm. uh, that, that can access the game. This and you said you're in pre-alpha, correct? Yes, yes. They, they, they are mostly uh, Kickstarter backers. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a Kickstarter in 2016, uh, which was a huge success. I mean, we were the third biggest Kickstarter in video game that wow. year. So, I mean, then we are not, you know, uh, uh, it's not a big IP. It's not something yeah. that people know. So it's really the concept that uh, interested players and got us this support. Yeah, well so here you see this, uh, sorry, this rocket, oh, okay. we're going to launch it to space. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you see that it can actually be animated. This is real physics, and you can control, you know, how these different engines are mm -hmm. operating with each other and so on. So is that what we see on the right? Uh, the on the right, you have the widgets, indeed, that corresponds to the different uh, elements interacting into your, your, your spaceship. Mm -hmm. and you can script everything. Actually, you can script in Lua. So if you're into programming, you can go as far as scripting your, your ships. Uh, here we, oh. we show that you know, <laughs> this, this building, just to make it clear, is uh -huh. entirely editable and it has been made with the building tools. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not like a prefab that you assemble or something. It's, you know, it's up to you to be creative almost. I mean, like an artist, you can create or yeah. an architect can create anything. So somebody actually made that entire building yes. and you guys just put a hole in it. Yes. <laughs> well, we, we, can, we can restore it. We can it. restore <laughs> it. <laughs> but, you know, I, I think it's good, you know, to demonstrate the concept by really breaking things so that it's yeah. clear. See this huge ship over there? Mm -hmm. We're going to get there using this, this small helicopter. Okay. Uh, and was this helicopter and that ship created by... Yes. Got it. Totally. So that, that's... I mean, you, you see the shape of this thing. You don't like it. You can modify. Mm -hmm. You can make it maybe more efficient also. So th there's a bit of engineering if you want. One thing important is that you don't need to be building ships or to be even, like, as I said, scripting Lua and so on. It's mm -hmm. not a game about that because there's this in-game market so if you if you don't want to do that, you can just go on the market and buy what we want to use. Mm -hmm. So what you typically would buy uh, as a preset ship in a game where you have ships made by the game designer, mm -hmm. right? Here it's the same, but it's just made by other players who enjoy doing this. So everybody is going to specialize into a particular aspect of the oh, gameplay, so and through the market you can basically trade your skills. Mm -hmm. So in the pre-alpha, have you seen any um, anything that you're impressed by the community well, making? Many things, starting with all the things we see now. This yeah, I mean, this is very I'm impressive. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. I mean, this, this is very impressive. Mm -hmm. So we are in this large ship. Uh, we're going to just visit it. Uh, this is the cargo bay. All those things are actual containers, so you can use them to transport things. Uh, but we did actually a contest uh, for creating amazing stuff, outposts, and mm -hmm. there's a video that you can see on our, on our channel on YouTube. Your YouTube channel? Yeah, and it's really impressive what people have built. I, I'm amazed. And mm -hmm. it's only the beginning. You think about that it's about a few thousand people in the game now. Uh, and this much has been built. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the servers are not up all the time. We are in the testing phase, so it's just uh, from uh, once in a week. So it, it shows you know, when we're going to be live with a very large number of players, hopefully. Mm -hmm. What's going to come from that? A whole civilization. That's what we hope. Uh, yeah. And actually civilizations competing or collaborating with each other. So this I is the captain quarters. Um, oh wow, nice place, that's so detailed. Nice view. <laughs> so are there like, do you create a character as well that would be living out in this universe, yes. or is it mostly the building? No, no, you are a character. Uh, so here we are in first person view. We're gonna have a, at some point gotcha. a third person view. You, you are uh, a character. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's a whole aspect of of role playing. There will be a skill tree. So all those things. Okay. And, so uh, yeah. Do you toggle between being a build, kind of being in build mode and being in your character yes. mode? If, if you want to do uh, build mode, then you activate, you press B, and then you're into build mode. You have your jetpack that allows you to fly around anywhere you want and to, and to build. So there's a specific mm -hmm. mode for that. Here we are in the officer's lounge. Uh, so that's where you, you know, chill out and, and wow. have a drink with friends. The or detail you can play in this. So let's just, mm -hmm. just sit here. Okay. And, you know, this, this, this is a computer with Lua on it. And this mm -hmm. is a screen, and you're playing a game inside the game. So did somebody make this yes, game? Yes. Wow. So it shows there's no limit to, you know, it's uh -huh. just uh, a simple game. But I mean, it could be anything. It's a uh, computer and a screen. Oh, right? and there we go. We're seeing our, our body. Yes, you're, you're there. So that, that's a sort of a fun thing. But those programming aspects, they can also be used to do things useful. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go into the control room. Okay. Where we have all the setups to actually uh, pilot this, this huge uh, ship. 
We're not going to pilot it now because it's basically too heavy to lift up in this atmosphere. But it's just to show you all those screens, all those interfaces and so on. They are not part of the standard game. They have mm -hmm. been made by the players themselves. So you can redefine everything you want in the game. So if you did want to adjust this ship so that you could, you said that the atmosphere it just wouldn't lift, right? Yeah. How would you go about doing that? That particular ship, uh, you can lift it up. You need rocket boosters that mm -hmm. are extremely powerful but consume a lot of uh, you know, fuel. And then once you reach a certain altitude, you can activate anti-gravity generators that will sustain you there. And of course, then you can go in space mm -hmm. where there's no gravity and you're free to move. This is a, a ship, we're going to pilot it actually. It's really cool uh, because it has three types of engines. Atmospheric engines that mm -hmm. you, you see here, space engines and the rocket boosters that I was talking about mm -hmm. that are going to be able to, you know, puncture the atmosphere and get us into, into orbit. So let's do that and, and travel to the stars. So the fact that you could get that giant ship up in the air really shows that there, there are very few limits in this game. Yes, that's, that's there mm -hmm. are limits, like everything, you yes. know, but, but, <laughs> uh, but we have pushed all those limits quite far mm -hmm. and it's up to you to invent your character to join an organization, so like mm -hmm. a guild, right? Yes. We, we already have 2,000 organizations. Some of them are getting close to 1,000 members. Mm -hmm. And they, they set up you know, all sorts of programs and things they want to do in the game, uh, nations, uh, uh, you know, industrial uh, goals, and so on. It's very impressive. You can already join them mm -hmm. uh, and be part of this collective adventure. So here, I, I, we, we just activated the boosters. So mm -hmm. you see the speed on the right is increasing. And um, we basically are going out going of the atmosphere. Out into space. Soon we're going to be in so space and in orbit. You mentioned joining this adventure. Um, and for, wow, that went so fast. We're almost out of time. But how players that want to get involved and check this out before we have an estimated release yep. date of like Q2 2020, correct? Yes. How yes. can they get into mm. this alpha? Right now, they can support the development mm -hmm. of the game. It's not buying the game, right? Yeah. You're, you're, you're going to support us like. Kickstarter style mm -hmm. uh, by going on our website and getting access to the pledge page. We have supporter packs that you can uh, you can buy, and mm -hmm. then you can for the the highest tiers of those packs you can get access to the game. Uh, to the test sessions of mm -hmm. the game right now. So you can help us to develop this game, give us uh, your, your feedback with a very strong interaction with our community and we want to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. So this is already possible. We're going to be in Alpha in November. Got so it, so that's people should keep an eye out in yeah, November. Yeah. And then we continue you know, with other Alphas mm -hmm. next year, beta and then uh, release in 2020. Great, well thank you so much. I'm so excited to thank see you. the development roadmap continue. Stick around, more Gamescom 2018 is coming up right after this.